As we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and honor. Lord, we lift our hearts in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and honor. Lord, we lift our hearts in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. Adore the name of the Lord. I 
adore him, adore him, adore the name of the Lord. Adore him, adore him, adore the name of the Lord. Adore him, adore him, adore the name of the Lord. Adore him, adore him, adore the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, give the Lord a great praise tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you satisfy every part of our life, our soul, our longings. You know them all, Lord. You know what we need as we open, Lord. You fill with your fragrance, with your wonderful presence tonight. Let it be upon everyone, Lord. Let them have exactly what they need Oh, just be that necessary thing tonight, Lord. Uh, let them treasure. Let them be a great treasure house. Uh, Lord, as they treasure it up inside. Uh, oh, God, we just praise you tonight. We love you. We adore you. Uh, do the new thing in every one of our hearts as we long for it. Uh, we give you praise for it. Uh, oh, we give you praise. Go ahead and praise him. Uh, oh, he's worthy. He's worthy. Uh, oh, let a sound come out of your soul. Uh, Oh, the sound of his glory, the sound of his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a great big hand clap and a great big warm welcome. Sister Ruth, our pastor, hallelujah, as she comes to bless us tonight with God's. We also want to remind you we have men's convention starting next Friday morning. We want all of you brothers to come. Amen. Take off a day from work and be here in the morning. Be here all day to help in the meetings. And then on Saturday, all day Saturday and Sunday morning as well. Amen. Oh, I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. The living creatures in the wheelhouse they sing. Holy, holy, holy to our God, which was and is and is to come. I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. Oh, I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. That proclaims the soon coming of our King. Jesus Christ will soon appear. I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their flutter with me a little bit. Oh, I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. <clears throat> As I cry, holy, holy, holy to our King. So Glory in this place makes me feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. Oh, I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. That proclaims the soon coming of our King as the angels hover near. Jesus Christ will soon appear. I can feel the flutter, flutter, flutter of their wings. Oh, the flutter of their wings. The flutter of their wings. flutter of their wings. Ha ha. Hayaribia. The 
the flutter of their wings. Hallelujah. There's a wheel within the wheel, and it's turning in me. It's turning in me. It's turning in me. There's a wheel within the wheel, and it's turning in me. It's turning in the glory. There's a fire within the fire, and it's burning in me. It's burning in me. Burning in me. Let it burn. There's a fire within the fire. And it's burning in me, it's burning in the glory. I can see, I can see, I can see the glory, I can see the glory. See the glory, I can see. I can see, I can see the glory, I can say the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. I want to read from Ezekiel tonight. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 1. And I'll begin with verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it, and out of the midst thereof as the color of amber, all out of the midst of the fire. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, and every one had four faces, and every one had four wings, and their feet were straight feet. The sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot, and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass, and they had the hands of a man under their wings on their four sides, and they four had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went, <clears throat> They went every one straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion. On the right side, and they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. Thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one to another and two covered their bodies and they went every one straight forward whither the spirit was to go. They went and they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. 
and like the appearance of lamps. It went up and down among the living creatures and and the fire was bright and out of the fire went forth lightnings and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning. I'm not going to read further. I want to call your attention a little bit concerning the portion of the wings. How many felt a soaring tonight? <laughs> oh, yes. Not only do the living creatures have wings, but he's giving us wings. Hallelujah. He's giving us that ability to soar in the spirit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's read again from verse 8. And they had, the, they had the hands of a man under their wings, and they four had their faces and their wings. Their, fa their wings were joined one to another. They turned not when they went. They went to everyone straight forward. And as for the lightness of their faces, uh, and, and I won't read that verse. Uh, let's jump to verse 11. Uh, Thus were their faces uh, and their wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined, one to another, and two covered their bodies. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Their wings were joined, one to another. Oh, you know, in this revival, God wants us to soar beyond anything we've ever been in. I've been blessed to have been in revival <clears throat> And I would say that even with all that's happened up until this moment in the revival, we have only begun to taste even what we experienced when I was a child in the revivals. I watched whole congregations as they soared into realms of glory. And as our sisters have prophesied tonight and our brother... <coughs> We watched in service after service uh, as that revelatory realm of the Spirit began to come forth uh, and people began to prophesy uh, of those things that they were seeing in the realm of the Spirit. Uh, oh, there was a glory that, was, uh, that came down into the midst of the people uh, that was so tangible. Uh, it was tangible. You felt almost uh, as if you were clothed in it. You were seated in it. Oh, that glory realm that God wants to bring us into. And as he spoke to us tonight, we have to set our face toward his glory, desiring it. It's almost interesting how that uh, uh, Moses, who knew the glory of God already, more than anyone else said, show me your glory. A man who already experienced it, already knew it, uh, had a cry in his heart. Uh, oh, he was desiring the fuller, that fuller revelation of his glory, desiring, uh, even as the scripture says that he will take us from glory to glory. Uh, there is the glory of the earthly, uh, and there is the glory of the heavenly. Uh, and in these days, he's causing us uh, to leave the earthly realms more and more uh, and to be seated together in heavenly places with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, these living creatures, they had hands, but they didn't reach out their hands one to another to join themselves together. But they allowed their wings <laughs> to tip to the next wing and they join themselves at the place of the wing. How oh, that's the only place of unity. I was speaking to someone yesterday and I said this, uh, unity is not 
passive. It is active. Sometimes we think that it's when we just sort of sit that we have a unity in the spirit. Oh, no. There needs to be an active reaching out to one another that we might be joined together in the purposes of God in this last day and hour. The living creatures were not joined at their head. This is what man tries to do. We try to get together and get joined together at that place of our reasoning, the place of our doctrine, the place of our understanding, but that's not the place of the joining. We are all from many different backgrounds here tonight, but when we were worshiping and our spirits were soaring, suddenly our wingtips began to join. We were reaching out and touching one another in that realm of the spirit and collectively we were reaching into a realm of the spirit of God beyond anything that we had known before oh yes that's what God is doing he wants us to be those that in every service allow those wings to be utilized and let them carry us higher. All you need to do is watch the birds. They look for the current of the wind. <laughs> they join themselves to the wind currents, uh, and you'll watch them. Uh, different birds have different patterns of ascent, uh, but it's so beautiful to watch them in their ascent uh, as somehow they're able to come into that particular wind pattern uh, and uh, begin to soar in it uh, higher and higher. Oh, this is what God is teaching us. Individually, we must ascend. But thank God when we are collectively together in a service, we can join ourselves wingtip to wingtip. Hallelujah. One has this portion, another has that portion. And we get to, so that we appreciate one another because their, their revelation causes us to go a little higher. Someone else's causes us to go a little higher. And that other voice causes us to ascend even more. And the collective worship the collective revelation, the collective pouring out. This is the only way that we're going to have truly an appreciation for the body of Christ universally. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, as we join together in worship before the very throne of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The living creatures joined wingtip to wingtip. Now those wings had an upward direction. When you come into the service and you know where you're headed. <laughs> oh yes, they went straight forward but they had an upward movement. <laughs> oh, yes, they were going straight forward, but they were not staying in that same level. They were going upward. Their wings had an upward movement. They were moving into higher heights. Hallelujah. And God has given us that ability to be lifted from the realm in which we are. Hallelujah. I cannot do it for you but collectively we can do it together I love to worship with people I know folks that only want to worship by themselves I know preachers that they'll pray for you but not with you amen They'll sing for you, but not with you. Uh, amen. Uh, those that, uh, but suddenly when we begin to join voice to voice, uh, spirit to spirit, uh, joining wingtip to wingtip, and we begin to ascend. Uh, hallelujah. And if somebody's not in the ascent, uh, you reach back. Uh, hallelujah. You know, we all have days that are better than others. 
Sometimes we get in the service and we're right there. We're the first one. We're, we're in the glory. We're in the anointing. Somebody else is sort of dragging their wings. We just have to wait. Fluff them up a little bit. <laughs> oh, yes. Get, the, get that there. Hallelujah. It's worth it because I don't want to be one that comes into the realm of the glory by myself. Amen. Oh, no. That's, uh, that's what we've done in times past. There have always been people uh, who have had wonderful experiences in God. And we enjoyed hearing their experience, but we, they had no ability to bring us into it. But if God can help us to come in and bring someone else uh, that pattern that's so easy uh, and <coughs> excuse me in which we praise uh, hallelujah until the spirit of worship comes uh, and worship until the glory comes and in the glory uh, we stand in the glory beholding the Lord uh, we bow in the glory uh, in that time of revelation the Lord begins to show us uh, those areas that we need to come higher in. Oh, yes, that we need to come higher. The night he gave that word concerning the sheets coming down and that there were things in the sheet that we might not normally have a taste for. But what is he doing in the glory? He's changing our taste. <laughs> our spiritual appetites. My book, Glory, has been written actually since the early 90s. And it had a measure of success, but you know, it was beyond where people were. But now with the revival breaking, <laughs> it's suddenly right where their hunger is for more of God. Oh, yes, that hunger that's coming. Oh, yes, we can reach back. I can remember a preacher coming to our, our camp meeting years ago, and he had a great revelation of the, the presence of God, and he stood up to try to lead our people into worship and he only tried once and he sort of said they're not ready for it and sat down well I was ready I knew of at least you know probably 25 or 30 that were ready if he had taught us if he had had a little patience with us uh, if he had been willing to come in and bring us uh, <laughs> A little higher. <laughs> oh, yes. Sometimes we dismiss uh, people thinking they're not interested. They're more interested than we know. But they're waiting for somebody to join wingtip to wingtip uh, to show them how to begin to soar uh, in that realm of the spirit. Uh, hallelujah. Just singing in the spirit, being carried away in the spirit, uh, praising and worshiping and adoring, going straight forward but upward, uh, that upward ascent. Uh, hallelujah. I don't don't want to lose the upward ascent. There are so many possibilities. America's got more possibilities for church, uh, church work than any all the other nations together. If it, <laughs> we've got a plan, we've got a program, we've got a way to do it, uh, but we've got to come back to that simplicity. Uh, that it's not by might, nor by power, but it's by my spirit, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. It's by the spirit of the Lord. And when we come in and do all that we know to do, I can remember times when I would lead the song service, I'd give it all that I had. <laughs> 
But even after that, right in the midst of it all, you'd say, Jesus, if you don't lift the people, if you don't bring them higher, I can't do it by my song leading. I can't do it by whatever I'm doing. Lord, you've got to come in supernaturally, even in the midst. Hallelujah. And add that other dimension. And suddenly in the midst of it all, the currents begin to blow I loved that uh, that Holy Ghost song we did tonight oh the winds of the spirit uh, the winds of the spirit need those that will join themselves to the movement of the wind uh, and be willing to soar hallelujah <laughs> willing to soar we were not meant for for earth we were meant to be a soaring people to soar above the earthly into realms of glory that we've never known before join to one another in the realm of the spirit Oh, yes, God puts a wonderful family together. We're not all of the same nation. We're not all of the same educational background. We're not all of the same economic strata. We're not all from the same uh, same state. We're not all from the same background in every way. And yet... <laughs> When we get in the spirit, we forget we used to be Methodist. We used to be Episcopalian. We used to be Catholic. We used to be Pentecostal. Whatever we used to be, we lose it in the worship. We suddenly become the bride of Christ. We suddenly become in unity. Hallelujah. In order to have the greater glory, there's got to be greater unity. And yet greater glory brings greater unity, a reaching out <laughs> beyond differences. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. All you need is somebody to bless you in a service and you forget they worried you in the daytime. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, you do. You forget it. Hallelujah. When that person's voice becomes the voice of the Spirit, when that person's voice becomes the voice of the Lord, when that person's voice becomes the voice that brings forth a revelation, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the glory shall be of God and not of us and as soon as we think it's of us the glory's not no longer there hallelujah that's why God spoke to us tonight he said he had a sheet of humility for a full sheet full of humility for us he said we had, he had a sheet for us of deferring to one another. Amen. That's what that bowing is, deferring. Amen. Living in Asia. No, no, you go first. You know, you watch the, the Japanese in front of the revolving door. <laughs> Those of you that haven't seen two Japanese businessmen in front of the revolving door, you go first, you go first, you go first. <laughs> and the door is revolving that uh, deference. Oh, yes, God wants to put that deference likewise into our spirit. He says, when you prophesy to wait on one another, that deference comes in there in which the opportunity comes for all to minister of the glory and the power. Hallelujah. And that word of the Lord. The Lord <laughs> working in us. Oh, yes. He's the one that's our teacher. When is he going to teach us? 
collectively in the glory. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God he doesn't give us too long a lesson. I don't know, just those two or three sheets that came down were enough for me to have to swallow and digest and... Uh, <laughs> Yes, just a, a moment or two in that revelatory realm of the Spirit of God. He begins to put into your spirit those challenges of the Holy Ghost. He does it so simply. He doesn't reprimand you. He just says there's more available. There's more humility. He didn't say we weren't humble. <laughs> he just says there's more for you to eat. Hallelujah. There's more available. Oh, yes, there's more. If we're going to have that greater soaring, we're going to be joined more and more to each other, not less and less. Oh, yes, this is not a day for independent spirits. This is a day in which we have an appreciation for the body of Christ and all of the members in particular. Hallelujah. We need one another. This great glory only comes forth in great unity. Oh, <laughs> oh you can be... You can even be dancing the same dance and singing the same song and yet not be united. But there is a unity that flows in the spirit. <laughs> oh, yes, in a moment in which the glory touches your soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anything that's high-minded just flees away. Oh, yes, that glory is so gentle. Yes, it's... Uh, it's the very nature of the Lord that comes down in a tangible form in which there's that impartation of his very nature that comes as the glory rests upon us. You know, when we lay hands on people, there's an impartation of those giftings that God has blessed us with. But in the glory... His very divine nature comes and just rests upon our heads, rests upon our shoulders, rests upon us, begins to permeate our very being. Hallelujah. And we walk away not, not caught up in any way with the affairs of life that cause us to be more earth earthly. But we walk away with that heavenly touch upon our soul. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I want more and more of that touch so that our wingtips can be joined. I don't want to soar just alone into those realms beyond, but I want these tips of the wings to be joined to one another so that we ascend collectively as a congregation. Remember this. In the cloud of glory in the wilderness, it was always over the congregation. Amen. Moses only stood with the Lord in the cloud, but otherwise uh, it was a congregational glory, a congregational cloud. Uh, how, <laughs> he loves the congregation. Yes, he does. And we'll stand uh, collectively together. Uh, you can be blessed at home, but I tell you, if you'll come uh, and stand in his presence in the midst of the congregation, uh, what you'll receive will be uh, a far greater portion than if you prayed many hours alone uh, at home. Uh, there is a congregational glory. Uh, that God wants to bring forth uh, over you, in you, through you. Uh, hallelujah. As we lift up our voices as one, uh, as we care, ascend together as one, uh, as we flow together as one, uh, as we are joined uh, in that same spirit that the living creatures who are around the throne uh, 
he, he lets us know that these creatures who uphold the very throne of God are not moving individually. They're moving as one with wingtip joined together. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Mason gave that word about the 24 elders before the throne of glory. They were not moving individually. <laughs> The, the, the 12, uh, the, the, the apostles uh, from the old and the apostles from the new, uh, they were collectively, uh, they were not uh, one higher than the other, but they were flowing together, uh, bowing together uh, before the throne of God. Hallelujah. Let God teach us uh, how to flow together. Let God teach us, amen, how to flow together. Let God teach us how to flow together, how to let our wingtips soar, cause us to soar into realms beyond anything that we've ever known before. For I have very much to impart unto thee, saith the Lord, and I am imparting unto thee even in this moment, saith the Lord, I am giving unto thee grace for grace. I am giving unto thee mercy for mercy. I am imparting unto thee in measures that you've not experienced. For I shall send countless numbers of people who shall be in great need. And thou shouldst not be able to bear even the numbers nor the responsibilities unless thou dost move greater into my glory but in these days I'm preparing thee that there shall be no strain upon thee in the days to come but yea that rather all strain shall leave thy spirit all stress shall be gone and that rather thou shall but know my glory my strength and my spirit moving in and through thee saith the Lord I strength strengthen thee for the journey. I strengthen thee for the standing. I strengthen thee for the ingathering of the harvest. I strengthen thee for the revelation of the glory that shall come in thee. And through thee and even amongst thee, I strengthen thee for it. Yea, be strengthened in me this very night and receive from my hand saith the Lord hakia bababando halabarisi alamando rabo halamo I can see I can see I can see the glory I can see the glory I can see the glory I can see I can see, I can see the glory, I can see the gifts of the Lord are without repentance. They're given without repentance. They're given without repentance. Oh, the gifts of the Lord are 
forgiven without repentance the gifts the gifts of the there are several people here tonight uh, that have formally flowed in certain gifts of the spirit uh, but you haven't flowed in those gifts for some time uh, but the Lord wants to restore it uh, in your spirit tonight uh, oh yes he's saying you still have those gifts you just need uh, the Lord to breathe upon them afresh uh, hallelujah that you can step forward and use them uh, hallelujah Oh, just let that restoration come. The gifts of the Lord are given without repentance. The gifts and callings of the Lord. This is what the Lord's saying to me tonight. <clears throat> not only are they without repentance, but this, it's not up to you to choose when they're going to be used. Oh, yes. Yes. You are to be only the empty vessel. And if he needs a, a particular gift to flow forth, uh, to be willing to let that flow forth. Hallelujah. Let's all gather here at the altar tonight uh, and let the Spirit of the Lord just work in us. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. can see the glory. Reach out and see it. Oh, I can see. I can see. I can see the glory. I can see the I can see 
I can see the glory. I can see the glory. I can see the glory. Halabaranda. Together, Lord, bind us with cords and cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together. Higher. 
higher in the glory. Higher and higher in the glory. Just soar. Higher and higher in the glory. 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 Hi, hi, yo. anniversary, I want us to just stretch forth our hands in the direction of Israel. We're not quite sure where, but we'll just, <laughs> hallelujah, stretch out your hands and let's bless Jerusalem and Israel. Lord, we bless Jerusalem and Israel in the name of the Lord. We bless, Lord, all of her peoples in the name of the Lord. We bless the Lord unto the excellency, unto the excellency that you have for them, even in this day. 
We bless the Prime Minister and the Cabinet members. We bless the members of the Knesset. We bless, Lord, all of their peoples. Lord, we bless the Arabs and the Jews and all of the nations that are gathered in Jerusalem and Israel, and we speak peace. The peace of God that passes all understanding. We speak the revelation of the Lord into the hearts and lives of the people. Visions in the day and and dreams in the night. We speak, Lord, the revelation of your Son even unto them. We speak and declare that this shall be a week of great angelic visitation. Oh, we speak, O Lord, that this shall be a week of the heavenlies being manifested even among us. Lord, in every room on the campground, let there be such a sense of your presence. Oh, let glory not only fill our souls, but let it fill all the places of our abode. Whether we're here on the camp or we're living elsewhere, let the glory fill our souls. Let this truly be a holy week as you said it would be unto us. Oh, Lord, we bless the meetings in Orlando beginning later this week. Fill the place with your glory. Let all who journey there be protected by your mighty hand. Jerusalem. Jerusalem. among us. Brother John, come up front. Brother Nassim. Brother John represents the Jews that are still abroad that God's bringing home. Brother Nassim has come come right here. We're going to have the folks gathering around you. Brother Nassim has just come in a couple of days ago to be with us from Israel. He's from our ministry in Jerusalem. You know, sometimes you think, I'd like to bless the Jewish people. Well, we've got two among us. We can be extra nice to them. Amen. When they are nice to you, Nassim, just know they're doing it for Jerusalem and Israel. Not only for you, you're getting an extra portion for the folks back home. Brother John, when they're nice to you, it's because you're Jewish. Amen. We like you kind of for yourself, but we also like you because you're part of our inheritance. Oh, hallelujah. Let's just gather around and bless them in the name of the Lord, both of them. We're blessing all of the household of Israel. They're representing the household of Israel, yes. Oh, a house of prayer. Come on over and lay hands on them, brother. Kirshner, let's have several lay hands on them. Oh, 
in the Jewish calendar is Independence Day. They close off the streets from the traffic and we dance right in the streets of Jerusalem. Hallelujah. I think we can dance right here tonight. Uh, we can be some of the first ones even before Thursday comes. Uh, let's have, uh, just take three or four people by the hand. Hey, they knew Shalom Alekim. Old circles, amen. Have they no shalom like him? Have they no shalom, shalom, shalom like him? Have they no shalom like him? Love like him. Go one direction and then the other. Have they no shalom? Have they no shalom? Lie, lie, lie. 